In this video, we're taking a look at NFT projects and initiatives backed by the world's biggest brands. With household names from McDonald's to NASCAR, these NFTs will prove that it's time to start paying attention to the NFT space. McDonald's. No other sandwich has a cult following quite like the notorious McRib. The McRib celebrated its 40th birthday in 2021, and in honor of its long-awaited return, McDonald's announced that they would be giving away McRib NFTs to fans of this sauce-slathered, mysteriously restructured boneless pork patty sandwich. 10 NFTs were handed out on November 12th to winners of a sweepstakes that ran for a little over a week. These were valued at $20 each at the time of launch, but it's yet to be seen if they'll resell for even more. Coca-Cola. Recently, a fan of the iconic brown fizzy beverage that supposedly can also clean auto parts spent $575,000 on an NFT of a Coca-Cola branded puffy jacket, as well as some other digital assets. To put that into perspective, if on average a bottle of Coke costs about a dollar, then that fan purchased the equivalent of 41 truckloads of Coca-Cola beverages. Did he make a good investment? Only time will tell, but Coca-Cola definitely made a massive profit by getting into the NFT space. Taco Bell. This fast food chain is currently leading the market when it comes to NFTs. Taco Bell, owned by Yum Brands, was one of the first brands to offer NFTs with their introduction of digital taco NFTs, which came with a purchase of a gift card. When they launched the promotion in early 2021, they offered up 25 taco tokens on the digital marketplace Rarible, which sold out in less than 30 minutes. There were five different designs of the taco-themed token to choose from, and four of those were gifts. Each taco token also came with a $500 gift card, and since then, some of them have increased in value upwards of $3,000. Nike. People take shoes very seriously these days, and Nike isn't naive to all of this. They know just how eager fans are to get their hands on limited edition Nike products, and it turns out this demand extends into the digital space as well. Nike hopped on the NFT bandwagon as a way to certify the authenticity of a pair of their shoes. Buying a pair of Nike shoes will now also get you a digital version of the product that you can stash away in a virtual locker. At the moment, they're calling this initiative Crypto Kick. By adding a digital seal of authenticity to their products in the form of a blockchain-backed NFT, Nike is taking things to a whole new level. This may be one of the most practical uses of NFTs by big brands so far. The Olympics. The pandemic unfortunately made the 2021 Olympics one of the strangest incarnations of the event in its history. At first, it didn't look like the event was going to happen at all, and when it finally did, there were very few spectators in attendance. But another thing that made the 2021 Olympic Games so unique was the incorporation of NFTs by the Great Britain Olympic team. The British Olympic Committee introduced an online marketplace where fans could buy NFTs of limited edition collectibles such as paintings by artist Ben Mosley and digitized medals won by some of the country's Olympic athletes. Other Olympians, including Simone Biles and Usain Bolt, followed suit, showing a huge demand for NFTs in the world of sports memorabilia. NBA In an attempt to increase the NBA's appeal in the Euro market, they launched a new online marketplace called NBA Top Shot. On this marketplace, they sell NBA-licensed NFT collectibles that showcase moments and highlights from the league's best players, teams, and games. Selling physical trading cards is one of the oldest marketing strategies that the NBA and other sports organizations have used to boost their profits. Now, they've come up with a new system that could quite possibly bring this time-honored tradition into the 21st century. MLB Following the NBA's example, the MLB recently started offering NFTs of famous ballparks. Original artwork is offered with each digitized park token, and recently, a special gold edition of Wrigley Field was sold at an auction for a mind-blowing $17,000. Disney and Marvel In the summer of 2021, Disney announced that they would be selling a variety of Marvel NFTs on the Vive marketplace. These NFTs went live on the platform in October and sold out incredibly quickly. A month later, Disney started selling digital statues inspired by beloved moments from Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, and other franchises that they own. Other companies offering NFTs on the Vive marketplace include DC, the Jim Henson Company, and Givenchy. Given the demand for these products and the fact that many of them multiplied in price within just a few hours, this is a big indicator that NFT collectibles are just getting started. Stella Artois. The Kentucky Derby might just have some serious competition moving into the future. In conjunction with the 2021 summer horse racing schedule, Stella Artois started offering NFTs of branded horses that could be raced virtually in the Zed Run NFT game. In direct partnership with the Zed Run team, Stella put up 50 horses for auction in addition to offering their very own branded racetrack. In case you didn't catch our video on Zed Run, which we'll put a link to in the description, it's an online game built around digital racehorses, which have been known to sell for thousands of dollars. Zed Run's NFT horses are dynamic and have unique characteristics that affect how they perform out on the racetrack. Each horse NFT on Zed Run 
can also be bred and has a distinct bloodline and life of its own. The Stella Artois horses fetch some impressive prices, with every single one of them selling for more than $100,000. This is a fascinating example of how brands are integrating with other big NFT projects to bring the presence into the digital space. NASCAR. On October 3rd, 2021, coinciding with the Cup Series playoffs race at Talladega Speedway, NASCAR launched a new NASCAR-themed Zed Run racetrack. They also opened up a 24-hour window for fans to enter to win one of 100 NASCAR Z passes. These passes are standalone NFTs that allow their owners to unlock future in-game features and participate in specialized NASCAR-themed events. In addition to the 100 NASCAR Z passes that were handed out, 900 were made available for purchase. But that's not the only way that NASCAR has gotten in on the NFT game. Speedway Motorsports, a company that owns and operates eight NASCAR racetracks, has teamed up with Gig Labs to create RacedayNFT.com which is a marketplace that sells other NASCAR-related NFTs. Charmin. You may remember the beginning of the pandemic when everyone was hoarding and stockpiling toilet paper. Well, now the toilet paper brand Charmin has come up with an innovative way to stash away some of their product without impeding upon other people's ability to access it when they need it the most. NFTP, which Charmin unveiled back in March of 2021, is available for purchase on Rarible and promotes itself as the world's first non-fungible toilet paper. The brand is selling five different designs of NFTs, and the proceeds are going to support the charitable organization Direct Relief. While this isn't a profit-focused move, Charmin has found a great way to leverage their brand in the digital space to do some good. And with the money we've seen flow into NFTs, brands could make a huge difference by following suit. Budweiser In November, Budweiser changed its Twitter name to beer.eth and launched an NFT line of 1,936 digital beer cans that sold out in a matter of minutes. The collection immediately skyrocketed in value on the secondary market. Over on OpenSea, the biggest NFT marketplace in the world, the cheapest Bud NFT is going for 0.5 ETH, or about $2,000, and the more rare cans are going for over $20,000. It's time to take NFTs seriously. Clearly, these brands have dedicated fans that will go to any measure to secure ownership of their favorite products. These are still early experiments by brands to see what will and won't work when it comes to the NFT space. But if these stories are any indication, it's pretty hard to go wrong in the NFT space right now. That being said, as participation and interest in blockchain technologies continue to pick up steam across the globe, you can expect to see more brands launching their own NFT projects to seize their piece of the crypto pie. As these examples show, it could pay huge dividends to be the first in line and secure yourself an NFT from brands like these. While Taco Bell tokens might not be the next board ape yacht club, they do show us that consumers are hungry for digitized assets based upon some of their favorite brands. If you're looking to get into NFTs but don't want to make a hefty investment, Start with this video on NFT games that you can play for free to start collecting NFTs and earning cryptocurrency. We'll see you in the next video.